Hey everybody, so as promised uh, in that last video I was telling you I was getting um, some VZ52 stocks in from Apex. This is that box. We're going to unbox it today. I wanted to check out the condition to see you know, how bad these really are. Um, I do know these appeared to be on their website some of the ones that uh, Century uh, International Arms, CAI, or Century Arms International um, had gotten in um, back when they imported those VZ-52s. Some of these might be repaired like with a resin repair. Some of them may have you know the what people affectionately call the truck bed liner coating um, and they kind of did that to hide some of the repair spots and imperfections things like that. Um, I ordered two. They came at the cost of $89 a piece so I'm hoping maybe one of them will be good for that VZ-52 project that I'm hoping to get from Hunter's Lodge. Um, definitely not anytime soon because we all know how quickly they ship things but that aside as long as I get it um, so without further ado we're gonna unbox this we're gonna take a look at the uh, condition of this and see whether or not it's worth $89 uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea you know basically before you buy it if you decide to buy it if you decide to do what I'm doing you know, so you can make the informed decision. I'm going to be the guinea pig for you guys. I haven't seen anyone unbox any of these from Apex, so I'm going to be the one to do it. Because quite frankly, it sucks to buy something sight unseen and not know what in the world you're going to get. They really taste this thing up well. I will say that. Get the paperwork out of the way. I have some other parts in here as well. Um, I did get some SKS parts. Um, I got some some Bakelite grips for CZ52 that I'll be getting before too long. Um, but let's see what we've got. Really hoping these stocks will be at least decent, at least decent enough to do um, that Resco project. Give me just a moment while I get all of this stuff out of the way. I'll try to anyway. I think that's everything. We're going to set that parts back aside. We're going to start with one of these stocks here. I have no idea how bad these are or how good they might be for that matter. Could be absolutely terrible. Might be decent. I don't know. Okay. This definitely has a crack in the wrist for starters. Got a crack down the side. It looks like this is one of the ones where they did a resin repair. I'm just going to we're going to open this from the top side because I plan on putting this back in the, in the plastic to store at least for the time being. Okay, so just to start with, it is missing the butt plate. Um, you know, you can tell there's been some sort of repair here. Um, this one actually looks pretty rough. Um, you can see there's a, a crack here along the wrist that has been repaired. That crack actually came through to the other side. Sling swivel is bent. Um, appears as though there was a good sized crack you know, on the top of where the magazine well is here that went through. This is a really thick, almost a pox it feels like epoxy resin. I don't know how strong that is in terms, you know, like from a longevity standpoint. Um, but you know, just for you know a beater VZ52, it may not be so bad. Let's try to give you some decent photos here or decent images. Like I said, you can see where that one crack runs through right here. 
Um, it does have that cross bolt. I guess that's good. That reinforcing bolt. Um, you can kind of see down there where they really filled that in with epoxy. Um, looks like a bit of a chip here of some sort where they epoxied it back. You know, the, fr the forend right here looks pretty good. Looks like there was a slight crack right here for the bayonet channel which they've epoxied that in. I would assume you can kind of sand this down and restain this. It looks like they took all the stain off this and then they uh, I guess repaired it. Doesn't look entirely terrible. I just don't know enough about these to know how repairable it is. So that's number one. Like I said, if you can't get these and you you know you ordered one of those VZ52 barrel actions from Hunters Live, well, barrel action is all fun and games, but if you can't get a stock for it, what good is it? You're not going to make something like this, not unless you have some sort of duplication equipment, which is going to be extremely hard. Then you got to find somebody that's got a nice one. But if you know a duplicator, somebody that duplicates stocks, you can grab one of these and get a probably a super nice one made. But I digress. Like I said uh, previously, or I may not have said it, um, Royal Tiger Imports says that they're going to make some new ones of these, but you know we'll find out. Um, I don't know how proactive they're going to be about that. I know they recently got some BZ 52s in. I don't know how good the stocks are. Okay, so <laughs> yep. So like I was alluding to, here is our truck bed liner stock. I guess it's kind of neat that I got one of each. Um, but this can be stripped down. Um, albeit, I'm not really sure how. This one looks considerably, well, sort of better. I wouldn't say considerably. You can kind of see down here on the butt plate, there's a big chip spot out, but it looks like they tried their best to kind of fill that in. Um, I don't really know how good that is. Um, under initial inspection, it looks like there may not be a crack at the wrist. I say may not. Very well could be. Um, the sling bar looks much better on this one. The channel. It looks like there's a crack right here. Um, not 100% certain there, but you can tell there was definitely a crack on the side that goes through. You can see the epoxy here, um, but this one doesn't have near as many repair spots as the other one. It looks, con like I said, considerably better. Looks like there's a crack there in the barrel channel. You can see it. Um, you know, and, and I don't know, looks like there might have been something going on here, I'm not 100% certain, I have to get this bed liner material off to really, which some of it's just flaking right off, it may come off easily, just to see what's really going on here, but you know, for something just to drop it in, to be able to use it, you know, I think these would work fine, they're just not, you know, it's nothing, nothing pretty to look at for sure, you will notice, there's some tacks sticking through right there. I'm guessing maybe that's where they tried to reinforce this and then glue the wood back. I don't really know. But there are your BZ52 stocks from Apex, which were basically um, imported by CAI. I would assume CAI repaired these at some point. Like I said, you guys can comment down in the comment section below. Let me know if you know anything about how they did this epoxy. It looks like epoxy resin. It's not the prettiest to look at, but it might be pretty strong for a stock. I don't know. Um, I'm not a woodworker by trade. I don't profess to know everything there is to know about that. So, but you know, these are these are certainly usable. I will give them that. Um, how strong? I don't know. 
Obviously, you can tell they're missing all the hardware and missing the butt plates and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that Hunter's Lodge will ship me all that stuff. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll get a stock that's got a break at the wrist or something that actually looks better than either of these two, and I can use what I get. I don't know. Um, I just took a, took a gamble on this, took a chance. Um, you know, I believe in showing you guys what you can expect. Um, you know, I, I mean, heck, I'll be the one to take the risk. Um, sometimes it turns out good, sometimes it turns out bad, you know, i.e. my drill purpose infill. Sometimes it turns out really not so good at all. Granted, it has some usable parts, but um, yeah, the wood was something to be desired. But anyway, there you have it. There's those. And so, just for grins, since I've got this video out, I might as well show you guys what else I got. Some cool mill cert parts. Um, so I have a Yugoslavian SKS on the way. Um, somebody kind of did some bubbifying to it, I so affectionately call it. And they took off the original. Um, Unfortunately, they took off the original grenade launching device on the end, and they substituted it with an AK-74 style break, which I'm not a fan of for that particular rifle. I do like them. Um, I'm just not real thrilled that they took it off. So we're going to restore it to its as issued, as imported um, configuration, and this is part of that. Um, I want to say for this, I paid. $12 for the grenade spigot that goes on that Yugo SKS. Um, another thing they did is, I don't know if that thing at one point was in California or not, but another thing they did is they took and they cut the ears off the bayonet attachment part on the, on the bottom of the side tower. So I ordered another one of those through um, Century Arms. I'll do an unboxing of those parts. Those parts are actually in the white. This is for the bayonet to reattach it once I change out that sight tower. Um, as you can see, this screw was said to be in excellent shape. I'm a little bit disappointed in this because I don't know where you can see it. I may insert a picture, but the threads are a little bit a little bit jacked up right there. It may still thread in fine, but I may get another one. That's that's just the bayonet screw that holds it onto those ears. Um, so we'll kind of set that aside. Another thing I got is the CZ52. Um, this is really cool because this looks like original grips. I'm going to open this up. Um, the one I'm getting has rubber grips on it. I don't really care for that. I like the as issued configuration. You can tell this looks like it's in its original packaging. These are those Bakelite grips, you know, the brownish black ones. These grips look wonderful. Looks like they were manufactured in 1992. Well, I never guessed that. But for something that was in the 50s, I mean, cool. I'll take it. These grip panels look great. You know what? I wasn't going to open them. But let's take one out. Just so you guys can see what kind of quality you can expect from Apex on these. These look great for bake light grips. Slightly brownish tinge. Um, no major wear marks. Nothing of that nature. The grip on the other side looks exactly the same. Nothing is chipped out around the, around the. I guess it's the decocker, the safety. But these grips were forty bucks. So they weren't cheap, but they are original, as you can tell by the labels. Um, so anyway, if you guys want to get you a set of nice CZ52 grips, um, or yeah. If yours are jacked up or cracked or splitting or whatever, Apex Gun Parts, $40. So, anyway, there's that video. Um, 
keep in mind I'll do another video with the stuff I get from Century Arms when I get it in, all those Yugoslavian SKS replacement parts so that I can restore it to its as imported, as built configuration. I'm all about returning stuff how it should be. I cannot stand it, which I get it. Some people like to sporterize stocks and this and that, but it drives me nuts. I, I, you know, if I'm going to collect it, I want it like it was. So anyway, stay tuned for more videos on the way. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get uh, notifications when videos like this come out. Uh, so you can go check it out. Especially if you guys are in the market for any of this kind of stuff, like what I bought, you know, like with these BZ52 stocks, these, um, you know, these CZ52 you know, grip panels. I should have done that. Um, or any SKS stuff, you know, there's all kinds of cool stuff out there. And I just believe in showing you guys what you can expect to get. So, anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and there's going to be more on the way.